We transform healthcare professionals into data-driven decision makers. We help those who have no experience into becoming an industry expert. This is Dr. Data Insight, where your knowledge becomes skill. And we show you exactly how to build a real healthcare analytics career. The NHS is a complex, multi-layered network. Therefore, intricate knowledge of the healthcare system creates a distinction in your application of analytics and truly being successful in interviews. Now let's make sense of the structure. The NHS in England isn't a single central organization. It's a network of bodies that work together to deliver care across the country. Here are the key players you'll hear about again and again. NHS England, NHSE. This is the national body. It sets strategic priorities, allocates funding, and commissions major services like screening programs, specialist care, and digital transformation initiatives. Integrated care boards, ICBs, ICBs operate regionally. Their role is to coordinate care across local areas, linking hospitals, mental health services, community clinics, and sometimes even voluntary sector partners. As a data analyst, you'll often be supporting ICBs in tackling system-wide challenges like reducing waiting times, improving access, or addressing health inequalities in a local population. Next is key and valuable provider of services, NHS trusts and foundation trusts. These are the frontline providers. When you go into A&E, receive inpatient treatment, or access district nursing, it's delivered by a trust. Analysts in trusts typically focus on operational performance, clinical outcomes, financial efficiency, and regulatory targets. The next key player is general practice. GPs are usually the first point of contact for patients. While they're considered part of the NHS, most GP practices are independently contracted, not employed by the NHS directly. This creates a unique dynamic. GP data is essential for understanding long-term conditions, prevention, and early intervention. But it's often held separately and governed under stricter data sharing agreements. As an analyst, learning how primary care data connects to secondary care is key to seeing the full patient journey. Private health care. Although the NHS is the primary provider of care in the UK, Private healthcare runs alongside it, offering services that patients can pay for directly or access via insurance. While private providers are not funded through general taxation, they sometimes contract with the NHS to deliver services, especially during periods of high demand. You may encounter private provider data when analyzing elective surgery volumes, waiting list initiatives, or outsourced diagnostics. The data you work with will often cross these organizational boundaries. You might start with hospital records, then pull in GP data to understand comorbidities, or incorporate private provider data to assess capacity. Knowing who does what and how they connect helps you ensure your insights are accurate, complete, and actionable, from a local ward all the way to national policy. The NHS is undergoing structural changes, including a proposed merger between NHS England and the Department of Health and Social Care, DHSC, which may reshape commissioning, oversight, and data governance. Every shift brings new data flows, reporting needs, and opportunities to drive meaningful improvements across the system.